Good morning, family. This is Mo with Moya Body Care and Colon Hydrotherapy, and I am a colon hydrotherapist that practices the art of internal detoxification through the use of colon hydrotherapy, herbs, and natural living. And today's video is um, going to talk about, let me see how I want to phrase this, um, knowing what you want, um, understanding that when you are sick and you're constipated and you don't feel well, that you may not know what you want. Um, and then number two, being decisive. And sometimes because we are sick, because we are not feeling our best, because we are not um, doing what we want to do is a result of being indecisive, right? So one thing that I often get, I often get, and I, I realize why I receive this type of interaction. And um, so the interaction is this. I will receive a phone call from a would-be client and they're asking about booking an appointment. So my hours are Monday through Friday, nine to six, Saturdays, nine to three, and then I'm closed on Sundays. And so when a client asks me, um, I would like to book an appointment, my response is, what day and time works best for you to show up for your health? And then I will often get, but what time works best for you? I'm not on the table. I'm not constipated. I am not feeling, um, you know, out of sorts. You are. What day and time works best for you to drive to me to receive a service for an hour and 30 minutes? Mm -hmm. I don't know what your schedule looks like. I don't know if you have to drop off children, you know, at nine o'clock in the morning, if you have to pick them up at three, that's something that you have to decide for yourself. Mm -hmm. So one thing that I know for sure about living is that the average population is so used to being told what to do and how to do it. They're like sheep. You know, one person moves this way, they all move that way. One person moves this way, they all move that way. So when I have clients come in to me, I literally force you to think for yourself. I don't want that responsibility. I have way too many responsibilities as it is. I homeschool a 12 year old. I don't need no more responsibility. You understand what I'm saying? So when clients come in or they call and they ask me, what day and time works best for me? I put it right back on them. I am not driving to me. I am not the one who is in need of services. You are. What is your commitment level to yourself? How do you want to show up for yourself? How do you want to move forward for yourself? These are questions that you have to ask yourself, not me. I can't answer that for you, right? And so we go back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. So I'll stop them. And I'll say, it's very, very simple. Get still. Take your time. Look at your calendar. I am not going anywhere, right? And then all of a sudden, it clicks for them. They'll go, oh, okay. But I have to fight. Not necessarily fight, but there's a re rewiring that takes place when we are now um, held accountable for our actions. That takes a moment, right? It literally takes a moment. The other thing that happens is when clients show up, let's say over 15 minutes late, especially for, well, actually for all the services. So for a colon hydrotherapy session, you're on my table for 45 minutes. If you show up 15 minutes late, by the time you get undressed, empty your bladder, get on the table, by the time I look to link up the unit, you've lost another 15 minutes. So literally, your time on the table is going to be about 20 minutes. It's not worth your time. I had um, about three people show up late. Was it three or two? Anywho. I think I had about two or three people show up late. Um, two people were coming in for a colonic. The other young lady was coming in for a yoni steam. You can't rush a yoni steam, at least not the way that I administer it. 
I start you off with a very small consultation, depending on how long it's been since you see me. I need to understand if there's any changes with your health, if there's any changes in your menstrual cycle, if there's any changes with your diet. All that plays a huge role in how I administer the Yoni steam for you. So it's not just you come in and you sit on a pot and you steam. I'm actually customizing this for you, so I need you to show up on time. If you show up 15 minutes late, there's no dialogue, and I don't put you on the table or on the Yoni steam seat like that. I won't do it. So if you're not showing up for your health, and it could be for a lot of different reasons. I don't know. It could be that you simply got stuck in traffic. And if I have the space after your appointment to extend it because there's nobody behind you, I will take the appointment. But a lot of times I am, um, I don't have that much time in between appointments, like about 10, 15 minutes um, normally. So when people show up late um, for their well-being, I can't, I can't cut a colonic short. I can't give you a quick colonic. I can't give you a quick yoni steam. Health is not quick. It's an investment. It literally is an investment. So if you're not putting your health first, there's really no reason for me to restructure my day to accommodate what you won't even accommodate. You understand what I'm saying? Like, I can't show up for you if you're not showing up for you. I have very clear boundaries about my appointments and being of service to my clients. But if you come in and stroll in, let's talk about that. Like, stroll in 15 minutes late and thinking they're just going to get in. I'm just sitting there like, you really, I don't want to say don't care, but your level of respect for my time is very clear. And... I can't patronize that and I won't let you treat my time so lightly, especially when I'm going to be here of service for you and I am showing up ready, prepared to hold you in light and you walk in 15 minutes late. Mm -mm. Sometimes we have to sit back and just think about the things that we are doing and the reasons why our health is for shit. Your health is for shit because you're not showing up for you. That's why. So what I'm saying is, is this, sometimes we have to get very clear about what we want and get very clear about how we want to move forward. And if you're not sure about what you want, it's okay to say, I don't know what time works best for me. I'm going to need a little bit of help. We're all grown. We're all over 21. So the level of communication I expect should be at a certain level. It should be at a certain level. And if it's not, it is on you to say and ask for what you need. What I am not is a magician. I may look like magic, right? I may sparkle like magic, but I'm not a, ma a magician. I'm just not. So I don't pull information out of people. I don't... Um, I don't do any of that. I don't chase, right? I am here of service 110%, but you have to do the work. You have to show up. You have to know what you want, when you want it. And if you don't, it's okay to say, I don't know what I need. I don't know what I want. I can work with that versus going back and forth with this ping pong. That I don't do. I'm a Taurus. I'm very grounded. I'm very rooted. I'm very straight to the point. <laughs> If you don't know what you want to do, I'm like, oh, God, help me. I have the patience. However, just try to participate a little bit more in caring for yourself. Self-care starts with you. It doesn't start with your service providers. It doesn't start with, you know, when I get this salad, I'm going to start taking care of myself. Or when I start drinking this water, I'm going to take care of myself. That all starts emotionally. Everything that we do starts with an emotional thought, period. So with that, I leave you. I hope um, my words of encouragement um, are moving you towards being more decisive about how you care for yourself. My name is Mo, and my business is Moya Body Care, and I'm located in Torrance, California. 
My website is Moya, M-O-Y-A, bodycare.com. Until then, happy cleansing.